Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new game here on the channel. Um, this was recommended to me to play, requested for me to play. Uh, it is called Lilith Wants to Buy Your Soul. I don't know anything about it, uh, except for the fact that I opened it and there's no start screen or load menu, and this woman is asking if I'm surprised. And the answer is yes, I am. Uh, no, no, I'm not leaving. I'm trying to figure out how to progress. Okay, when you make a phone call, do you ask the other person to press start before speaking? What? When you text someone, do you first show them graphics and pretty pictures? This isn't a game, so there's no reason to have a start screen. Okay. I'd rather call this my method of communication. It's nice to meet- Whoa, okay. Hold on. It was nice- Okay, hold on a second. I don't like that. Not not a fan of that. Let's say its name. I'm a little far away. Sometimes it's hard for me to under uh, understand who I'm talking to at first. But right now, I'm talking to you, Brian, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I myself go by many names. But you can call me Lilith. Through chain letters, strange emails, posters, and even paintings, I've always appeared to people and given them a special offer. A lot of times they don't believe me, but sometimes they do. And for those people, I can change their lives. I have to turn this down a little bit. Um, which I've already done three times, but I have to do it through the actual volume mixer of my computer because, well, there's no starters, there's no start menu, so no, no options. All right. Cool. Talking to me through this so-called game, I was wondering if you want to make a deal like that for yourself. A devil's bargain. No, I'm not asking you to accept it right away, just asking you to listen. So are you interested in what I have to say? I think I am. That's great, Brian. I'll draw up a contract now. Where, uh, where are you, Brian? Give me your soul, immortal soul. And I'll give you a, uh, uh, a something. This might be a problem. Normally, we have everyone's souls, uh, soul price here on file. But it seems that your file was misplaced. I'm sorry, even though I've been doing this for many years, I'm still just an imp. I have a bad habit of losing things, and sometimes I even go off script. Let me explain. My job is to acquire souls for the afterlife. Everyone's soul has its own value, the price that we're allowed to pay for it. What we can trade is always different. Sometimes we can give you diamonds and rubies. Other times we can give you a fried fish. So you see, whether I can give you worthless stones or a delicious snack, it's usually decided by the head office. But if I can't find that file, how can I make you an offer in the first place? Is it under the desk? Under my chair? Stuck in my clothes somewhere? Let's check these papers one more time. It's hopeless. Now, this is interesting. I think I can still gather enough information to offer you a deal. By conducting this test that I found, I can under, uh, understand your soul value that way, too. I'll just ask you 20 questions. Same number as a children's game, and we can learn how much your soul is worth. Who's answering? You, of course. Thank you behind the screen, Brian. Then, after taking the test, you can decide whether you want to sign your soul away. Shall we begin? I guess so. All right, let's start then with a the soul appraisal. The first question. Remember, this affects the value of your soul. Okay. Are you more of a cap or easy? Okay, wrong answer. Oh, to be honest, I'm more of a dog person myself. Do you know a lot of people who like cats have attachment issues? Well, let's set that aside for now. Next question. Would you rather eat hamburgers or ramen? Ah, uh, burgers. So you like burgers too. I wish your taste in pets was as good as your taste in food. Isn't it fun to take a quiz like this? I know you're a human and I'm a demon, but it's great to see what we both enjoy. Are you ready for this next question? I think it's a fun one too. Does your life have any meaning? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to answer. Why did you... <laughs> Why'd you find I was literally moving to answer it. Cats or dogs, burgers or ramen, whether or not life has a meaning. Uh, haven't you already thought about these things? One of your scientists said people consider 35,000 things every single day. I guess considering this question wasn't one of them. But I don't mind if you take your time. I can wait for you. So does your life have a meaning? I think so. It's a really funny expression you have on your face. But these kinds of questions are hard for a human like you. And we can go back to cute pets. Imagine that there's a box in front of you. In that box, there are cat or a cat. Ah, uh, okay, I put a cat in the box. Now, when we open that box, is the cat dead or alive? Uh, alive. So you're a cat half full person, huh? That's sweet. All right, now I put you in the box. When I open the box, will you be dead or alive? Alive. Somehow, I'm not surprised. But the most important question is, if I open you up on the inside, are you feeling dead or alive? Well, obviously, I feel like dead. Now a trolley is driving down some train tracks. If the trolley goes on it, then it will run over five people. However, you can click a lever, and it will run over one person instead. Whether you pull the lever or don't pull the lever, do you look away from the tracks? No, I look away. Okay, now look at me. Look at me. Look away. Have you been putting a lot of thought into these questions? Don't bother answering. I already know. Less than 101 seconds? It's good to be confident, but are you sure you're not just skipping through text as fast as you can? I'm literally reading it aloud. Regardless, that's all the questions from Form A. 
We just finished the appraisals first half. How you feeling? I have some feedback from other takers. Let's see. Mystifying, obscure, not enough cats. We did fix that last part about the cats. Hmm, what do people have to say about form B, the next section? Straightforward, simple, not enough cats. What's with these last suggestions? We can't just put cats in this game because people like them. That's not how things work. Setting that aside, our time together is coming to a close. Let's finish the appraisal with the last 10 questions. Oh, I'm ready. All right, Brian, let's start with the question 11. Do you live alone? Uh, no. Do you want to live alone? No. It's good to have company. Do you have a partner right now? Yes. Then are you married? No. I thought so. Someone playing a game like this couldn't possibly be... Okay. Still, Brian, I have to apologize, but not for the reason you might think. I asked some questions that weren't on the form just then. It's not that I'm interested in your relationship or anything like that. I was just teasing you. If you look on my game page, there's at least three downloads. I'm not loaning at all. Let's just get back on track. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do first? I bet I can guess. Do you look at your phone? Yes. Knew it. Then, do you ever scroll on your phone without thinking? Yeah, of course. And you have your phone open right now? No. I can see you, you know. I know when you're telling lies. Even if you're not looking right now, I know you were, you've at least thought about opening it. I want you to pay attention to me. Uh, this is much better. Oh, I changed my whole... Hold on, hold on. You can't just change the way this is oriented. It wasn't full screen, and now it is. All right. This is much better. You have to give me attention now. We have to make the most of our remaining time together, you and me. Now for the last few questions. Do you have any dreams? Um, yeah. Are you pursuing those dreams? Yeah. I'll cheer you on. Do you believe you have a soul? Of course. Hmm, that's what I'm here for. Do you believe you own your soul? Yeah. Do you believe you own your time? Yeah, no. The last question is a little hard to ask. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Strawberry. Good choice. If you chose chocolate, then that means your soul would be worthless. The only people who enjoy chocolate are people without taste buds. Next, question 20. You see, the quiz was fun, quick, and painless, just like a test on Fuzzbeat or Basebook. Uh, I'm obliged to say that we're also using these results for targeted ads, but only in the fourth circle of hell, where we hold social media devs and marketing executives. Now one minute, processing your results. One, two, three. Done. A certificate. Your, this certifies your soul is worth no less than a console as a result of having taken the soul appraisal. Oh, yeah. Yay. Congratulations. Your soul is worth $249. With that kind of money, I can get you a gaming console. If you hit print screen on your keyboard, you can take a screenshot of this image. And you can proudly show your friends that your soul is worth a gaming console. Isn't that amazing? Print screen. Uh, print screen. Where the fuck is that? Print screen. There is. Uh oh. Oh, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. But even though that test was fun, that wasn't the reason we're talking right now. Before we part ways, this is my real offer to you, Brian. For something worth two hundred forty-nine, we give you your soul. I uh, explain. Your soul is appraised to be worth about two hundred forty-nine dollars. I probably won't give you the money itself, but I'll give you something worth the same amount. It might be an opportunity, a bond, or even an, ins uh, an, an inspiration. Is this? Okay, uh, I'm not entirely sure. This is so weird. Is OBS not? I can't tell if it's fucked up right now or not. It looks like it's fucked up. I can't see it on here. What's going on? Chill. Okay, I'm seeing it pop up again. Whatever. It might be an opportunity, a bond, or even an inspiration. As for what it means for me to have your soul, maybe sometime later I'll ask for a favor. That's all. So, for something worth $249, will you give me your soul? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Believe it or not, after all I've said, I've never had someone go through with giving me their soul before. I'm a weak demon, you see an imp. There are other, stronger demons, if you sign a contract with them instead. They'll be the ones to own your soul because their power is more than mine. When I follow the script, people sign, but they all, fail, uh, they all fall to others in the end. Still, I'm happy you trust me now. Contract complete. Whew, now that this has all been settled, I guess this is finally goodbye. Stupid. When I say I guess this is goodbye, that means we're supposed to close the game. Unless you still want to spend time with me. Is there more? Why? Why are you still here? Could it be because of those extra questions? I'm really not that lonely. I don't care that you're looking at for me right now. Please. If you stay here like this, then I, I won't be able to... Before you go, I should make... Wait, what she said? Leave you. Oh. Yes.
leave you. Before you go, I should make a confession about the soul appraisal. Souls really all have the same value. When it comes to the contract, we just give an offer that we think might, you might accept, that's all. The test is supposed to help us guess what you might agree to. So in a way, you could say that I'm running a scam. Maybe I don't belong here as a demon after all, because at the very end, I couldn't keep up the lie. Not to someone like you. But there's a lot of demons out there in the world that might try to make you believe something different. That your soul has a value of this or that, that you should give it up to them for whatever it is they might promise you. Maybe they'll even tell you it's worthless and act like they're doing you favors. That you should be grateful for scraps. And I don't want you to give your soul to someone like that. I want you to be the one to have it. That's why I'm being honest with you right now. Or, if I don't get your soul, then I don't want anyone else to have it either. Selfish, jealous, disorganized, overly talkative. Kind of a mess of a demon, aren't I? But promise me that you won't let anyone else tell you what your soul is worth. And if you don't give it to me, then you'll at least keep it for yourself. Your wishes, your desires, don't give them up. Please, okay. I'll hold you to this promise. Brian, I don't think we'll see each other again. When I said I was a weak demon, that part of at least wasn't a lie. As the years have passed and people have stopped believing in things like me, it's become harder for me to show myself to y you even like this. When a demon loses its power, we go to a place called fiction. You can say that even though this is real right now, in, this, in the end, this experience will still turn into a game, whether it has a start screen or not. But if that happens to me with the memory of that promise you made or failed to make, I'll still be alive. Even if I can't show myself to you, then I'll still be watching over you in my own way. I'll remember these questions and the time we spent together, even if you forget them. Thank you, Brian. And farewell. Okay, that's it. Cool. Well, uh, well. with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this neat little game here. I, I had fun. It was it was cute. It was cool. Uh, definitely a little a little something different, but I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Definitely check out the other things I have running on the channel right now. And with that being said, I will see you all next time. So long, everybody.